What? You never know where Evan's coming up with the dirt squirrel. <laughs> This should be on your radar. This is a really, really soft shooting, highly modifiable, very easy to, you know, backpack, go bag kind of situation. And it's a lot of fun to shoot. You don't gotta worry about things like SBR laws with that, with that tactical brace. And it's everything that you already know and love, but a nine millimeter. Well, you're from Four Guys Guns, and today I wanna to talk about one of my personal favorite Sig Sauer guns. Now, you've seen the channel long enough to know that I don't really, you know, tout Sig Sauer as like this great, great thing in my life. They make good stuff. You know, they've, they've had their, their faults and their follies like everyone else, but this particular one, the MPX, is one of my personal favorites. I'll tell you why. The MPX, for me, replaces the MP5. The MP5 had a fantastic run, in my opinion. It's still alive and kicking. There's a lot of, you know, companies out there that are kind of bringing it back. And it's a different methodology than the MPX. However, it's different. And aside from the whole elitism of HK and shenanigans, the six hour MPX is something you're used to, something you know. And that's one of the biggest reasons as to why I like it. If I'm gonna go with a nine millimeter subgun, fancy talk for pistol caliber, not quite a rifle, but still a pistol. This is my go-to simply because I like knowing where everything is without having to relearn anything. I like the magazines, the availability of parts, and all in all, it's just a great option. The Sig Sauer MPX comes with a lot of really great features and it actually comes with several different flavors and designs that you can go with. They have ones without any kind of stock. You can get an SB tactical brace for it. They even sell if you want to go SBR crazy. Be a little tax stamp fanboy, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, stamps are cool, that's not a lie. Um, this is probably one of the better stocks that I've seen Sig come out with and I really, really enjoy it. It's a very quick kind of pull up and rotate. Ugh. And yes, it is fireable from this position. It swings out super easy with a little bit of force. And it's completely adjustable to the size and length of pull, which is it's stupid. Let's go over why that's possible. The MPX uses a blowback design as opposed to the roller lock that the UMP5 uses. That's all fancy talk for basically how it cycles the bullet in, bullet out. What it does is it's got two very large rods and two large springs that ride right along the top where you're used to your gas port being on an AR-15. The MPX does have a wide variety of aftermarket components, so if you do want a similar trigger by your favorite company from you know, one to the other, you can get similar components made specifically for the MPX. They look like there's some similar stuff in there, but you could actually do some damage apparently. Who knew? If you uh, install like just a regular old AR trigger. Disassembles the same way you would expect any of your ARs to disassemble, so again, all those little control surfaces really, really familiar. Uh, same with grip, things like that. A lot of compatibility between stuff that's already on the market without having to develop new and proprietary things. Overall, it's very, very simple to migrate from even like an MP1522, just a simple 22 caliber, all the way over to this. Awesome, awesome little thing. It's probably my favorite Sig Sauer. The other cool thing I really like about this is the Ambi controls. I think H&K has like the selector that's Ambi, but you still have your chunky shenanigans that if you're not really proficient in how to work those controls, Hand jazz. <laughs> Can sometimes seem like a discombobulated mess for, for newer, newer shooters on the market. Whereas if you come from an AR-15 background or even minimal experience in AR-15, a lot of the controls are in the same places you would expect them to be. This is what you know fancy people call manual of arms. Your charging handle works exactly like it should on an empty mag. It locks back and stays back. You have your Actual bolt drop right here, which is a pretty fancy little feature, so that way when you're loading one in, 
you just drop right from there. You also have your bolt catch, just like you do on your AR-15. Everything is literally a very quick and easy transition from a nice long gun to a pistol caliber sub gun. Pistol caliber carbines have been all the rage for basically all of 2018. And if you were looking at one to cram a bunch of you know, your Glock mags into, that's cool. You should probably put this on your radar. While technically not a pistol caliber carbine, with the advent of and the advances of SB Tactical, by bracing this thing, you can actually do a lot more with it because it technically qualifies as a pistol. So, give this a look. How do you feel? You tell me, MPX versus MP5. Is, is the MP5 still a champion? Does this hold a candle to it? Personally, I would take this over an MP5 any day of the week, and that's just because that's how I am. But maybe you're different. Maybe you're special. Maybe you can do all the fancy hand jazzes and make it work. Maybe you just want to be die hard too. yippee ki mother. Either way, leave a comment down below. We love to hear and see and read the comments and feedback. We're going to go ahead and pack in for the night. You stay safe, check your chambers, and I will see you on the range. I don't know why I always sing that. Do I?